Okay, so today I'm using counterculture, medium viscosity, equal parts A and B, and I am trying shredded confetti that I got on Amazon as compared to the cut up confetti from a roll of it. I just want to see that I want to compare the look. I know it's going to look different because this is shreds, but I just want to see what it looks like. So I'm going to mix up equal parts and I'll fast forward through all of this. Okay, I'm removed my mask and I am uh, going to put aside just about, I don't know, I'm just going to. Put a little in here. That still leaves me eight ounces for my coasters. I'm going to do an experiment with that in just a minute. And I'm going to get my board. I like to place my coasters on something that is firm. And I use a counterculture silicone mat to cover it just because it's easy to clean off. The resin just peels right off. Super easy. I just got this set of coasters and they hold four ounces because they're five inches, so they're large. They hold four ounces of resin, and so I'm only going to put two ounces in with the confetti. Just, uh, you know, making sure there's stuff under it, but not inside of it. Sometimes it looks like it's inside, but it's underneath from whatever it was laying on top of. You don't have a perfectly clean table, which is always the case with me. But I also have four cups. These are three ounce cups filled with confetti so that I could do equal amounts of the confetti in each one because if I mixed it into one big cup, it might be heavier with confetti either at the top or bottom or whatever. So I just decided to make it as simple as possible. And what I'm going to do is pour two ounces at a time into this beaker and then add my confetti into it. So I'm going to scoot these aside. I'm going to dump the confetti in. which is always messy. <laughs> so I've got to stick it down into the resin. I need a bigger cup. i got to switch to a bigger cup. But these at least don't stick to you as much as the confetti pieces that you cut up. They're very magnetic and they just stick like crazy. So my plan is to do two ounces and then let these cure a little while and then add two ounces of clear on top. But we will see what it looks like after the first part is done. So as you, as you know, I'm putting the confetti into two ounces of resin. So what I will do is I will not bore you to death with doing this with each one. I'll just fast forward it. I'm just doing this to wet the confetti with the two ounces of resin. It's very thick and because I've got more than two ounces of confetti but it's compacted.
and I notice they do have um, every once in a while there'll be a, a piece of confetti in there that's a color so you have to kind of pick those out if you see anything that's like this is a I keep seeing a teal piece in there um, a couple of them So all of these are basically about halfway filled and I'm just making sure that none of the cellophane is sticking up above the edge of the coaster because then I'm going to come back in like four or five hours and put a clear coat over this. And as far as bubbles, don't really see anything because it's so condensed with the resin you don't see bubbles at all okay so I'll be back to do the second layer later on okay this is the second part of the video I'm gonna do the cellophane like I typically do and I'm going to try it a little differently. Um, I'm going to try to put resin in each coaster and I'm going to try to lay it in there. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to put a little resin in each coaster. Just to kind of wet the bottom. I'm going to heat it with a low temp heat gun. It's a 300 watt embossing tool. So I'm going to basically try to do it piece by piece or whatever and that may take a while so I'm going to fast forward through this.
that went a little bit better because I if you can keep your gloves out of the resin it helps lay the pieces in a little bit easier it doesn't take quite as long so I'll be back to put another coat over it when I do the other step okay it's been I don't know about six hours and it's not tacky so it's good and I'm going to um, just put a layer of clear coat So I removed the covers and they're ready to take out of the mold. As you can see, there's a total different look. Um, this shredded confetti, I don't know if they threw in something else besides cellophane into it, but it definitely has a different look. But anyway, we're going to see what it looks like. And I just wanted to point out, I've got beakers listed below my video, and I love them. They're plastic. I like them better than silicone beakers. These, um, to me, the resin doesn't come out as easily with the plastic. You just kind of squeeze it. It kind of breaks that seal on the resin and it comes out nice and clean and um, on the outside edges it just peels right off. I love the plastic beakers much more. I always put them upside down that way the resin comes out easier for some reason. Here's another one. You hear it crack and it's not the it's not the beaker, it is the resin that's cracking. Comes out like in a little cup sometimes. It's really cool. And then you have a clean beaker, you don't have to clean it or do anything. I did unmold the black. And I'm going to save this for a future video. Okay. I've got some more experimenting to do with that. So, let's get busy and unmold. We'll go ahead and take these out first since we kind of know. I've done these a few times. Kind of know what they're going to look like. So, I'll remove it. And they're a little bit more see-through because I only put one layer of the cellophane. A few bubbles in it. The ones I made before, I did like um, cellophane on one side and the other had like crinkled cellophane. So there was kind of like a layer on both sides. But still very lovely. And I'm going to take these and do gold edges as well with the paint pens.
there's the bottom side, which is um, totally smooth, and then the top side has a few little nubs sticking up. So I would make this the top side. Very different looking. Kind of looks like a dressy as far as um, just a little bit of shimmer. But totally smooth. So on these, um, they have a little bit of a lip, which I like because it makes it easier for you to go around your um, edges. And I like when you set a cup or glass, if there's any condensation, it's not gonna, the cup's not gonna slide off or whatever like that, whereas these are totally smooth on top. These have a little bit of a lip, so I do the gold outline on the side that has the lip and because these have all these little nooks and crannies, I'm going to brush the gold on to the sides on this one instead of the paint pens. Um, it just works a little easier for this kind of coaster.
Okay, so we've got some paint thinner and um, I'm just going to put it on a little Q-tip and go around any edges that I might have gone over because this is oil based paint. So this is the bottom side that um, you still want to make sure you have clean edges. So that bottom totally came out of the cup. Interesting. It ate the cup. mixed liquid gold and gilding liquid together, oil based. It ate through the bottom of the plastic cup. This I have some uh, paint thinner in that I have on little cheap plastic cups. It ate through the plastic so that's a warning there for the paint. But it does fine on resin as far as it's oil based, it stays. Um, you know, you just have to watch for fingerprints and drips over the edge, that kind of thing. So, um, I will show them outside when they're totally dry. Uh, this is the back side of these coasters. And the top side. Which, this was the bottom in the mold. It was poured like this, so this is the bottom side, and it's totally smooth, whereas there are a few lumps on the top side where I poured the resin in, and the confetti kind of stuck up in a few places, very, very insignificantly, but I decided to make the bottom the uh, top. So I will show the pictures at the end, outside, and photographs. I will list all the products I used, the molds, the cellophane wrap, the shred, the gold paint, um, the resin, everything will be in my links below the video so you have that information. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Stay tuned for pictures.